Hey guys, so today I'm here and I'm going to be talking about the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. This is the outside of the packaging here. It is so, so stunning. Oh, I'm just I'm obsessed with this packaging right now. So on the front here you do have some beautiful artwork and her little signature. And on the back, sorry, I know it's all fingerprinty, but you do have all the names and all that and it's all gold, so open it up and I'm going to try not to blind you with the mirror. You get one of the nicest mirrors I've seen in a palette and guys this, let me try to like block it here. These colors are so beautiful. I absolutely love this. I'm going to be doing a tutorial in a few days probably and I'm going to put it up so you guys can see. These are so so pretty. I really love how Kat Von D does her eyeshadows and I just love how these came out. I love how there's some like very different colors in here, even though I got the Saint and Sinner, there's some different shades and like brighter pops. I really like this purple here. The other day I did a really cute look using a little bit of like this shade, some of the green, and then this bright green. Um, I definitely recommend if you want to really make it pop, spray your brush with a little Fix Plus or something, and it will help get it to more of what you see in the pan. But guys, this is a great, great palette. I believe it's like $52, somewhere around there from Sephora. If they do still have some left, I do recommend getting it. I tried to get the limited edition, like, uh, studded cream lipstick um, in, like, Sangria or something, or Poison Sangria, something like that. But sadly, it's sold out. But I'm so happy I picked this up, so if you guys see it, I do really recommend this. I love the formula of this. I love the packaging. The mirror is humongous. You can do your whole face in this mirror. It's one of the nicest mirrors in a palette. I just really, really recommend you get some nice neutrals, you get cool and warm tones, like, it's just perfect. Some pops of colors. I feel like this is actually an amazing palette. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not too heavy, but I definitely do want to say I recommend it. I think it's great. I wanted to make sure I got my review up there, but I also wanted to still also, like, use it for, like, a little bit. So I got it the night it released. I was waiting to get this at Sephora and I got my flash two day even though really I got in like one day because I hope I ordered it but pretty much it was a great great deal but I absolutely love this so much so definitely recommend and I'm going to be doing a look with this uh, very soon so if you guys want let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see certain colors or something and um, if it doesn't come out where I don't see it at first for the first tutorial, I'll make sure to sometimes use this and um, I should check it ready with me or something. But I want to use some fun colors for you guys so you guys can kind of see. But I do really love this palette and definitely check it out. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe. Alright, thanks. Bye.